Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Katar, a weapon of the Fist variety, which you can use pretty optimally on both Strength and Dexterity builds. I opted for Dex because it had a little bit higher AR, as well I usually showcase things on Strength builds, so I did want to mix it up this time. The Katara's moveset is pretty similar to all the other fist weapons. The light attack chain are the consecutive punches, although the running light is a double thrust attack. This is very good for roll catches, so I'd say the running light on this weapon is definitely one of the best openers, and one of the best ways for this weapon to apply pressure, so I would say use this as often as you can for roll catches if they are panic rolling. As for the heavy attack, it is a delayed punch. You can choose how long you want to charge this for the delay of the punch, or you can fully charge it for the punch combo. I tend to go for just the heavy attack. It actually combos with the Ash of War like Storm Stomp. As well, you can maybe get a roll catch off it if your opponent rolls around you after getting hit by one of your light attacks. The Katars are also regular smithing stone upgrade weapons, so you do have access to interchangeable Ashes of War. I'm going to have Flaming Strike on it. I feel like since we are fighting at such close range, your opponents will often try to panic roll and get away from you. You can maybe get some roll catch combos with the Flaming Strike. And then in the offhand, I'm going to have a buff of some sort, so Crag Blade, Royal Knight Resolve, whatever I feel like is useful at the moment. That's all I really have to say about the weapon, though. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Heading into the first match, we have the Blind Side. Hello there, Blind Side. How are you? Uh, okay. I guess I'll get my Crag Blade going. There we go. All right, Blind Side. You got a Gargoyle's Halberd. Is that the one that has the interchangeable Ash of War or the non-interchangeable Ash of War? That's the poise needed to tank. Okay, good roll catch there. Oh, I'm getting hit by that, yeah. <laughs> Kinda wanna turn the tables on him. Gonna I'm gonna finish him with his own technique. <laughs> Very fun fight though, blindside. That was cool. Let me strike still does quite a lot of damage looking at like my health bar. Pretty good damage output. Moving into the next battle, we have Mad Dragon Zaro. Oh no. I deserve this. I was a dragon build recently. That's fair, Zaro. Started off with a nice hit. Alright, maybe we'll do this then. Boop. Oh, that's actually a true combo. That is not a combo. <laughs> I thought he'd get roll caught by the flame, but he did not. Where's your dragon attacks? Oh, you have fire breaths. I see. Oh, that might finish you. <laughs> well, very fun fight. Missed the dragon that didn't do any dragon spells. Kya. Kya. <laughs> Moving on to the next opponent. And hello there, Lunix. F fancy armor set you have there, sir. <laughs> very fancy, very fancy indeed. All right, so we got a curved sword. Ooh, with the backflip. Interesting. Oh my god. Uh, that damage output. Wasn't expecting to do that. <laughs> Holy. A good attempt at a parry with the curved sword, though. I honestly haven't really tried parrying with curved swords. But wow. Honestly, just a couple LRR ones. Just do some high damage output with these. Moving on to our next opponent, we have the Dung Eater, but Horina. Alright, with what looks like dual thrusting swords? Yes, dual thrusting swords. Alright, now he thinks I have the Roar. Except for I only have Roar that Resolve on these. Okay, so they're Bleed. I did win the damage trade there, thankfully. So if we do get a hit off with this, it'll actually be in our favor. Ooh, a good R2. I need to not be bled right now, though, so. We heal the bleed. <laughs> the lightning was a decent choice. Gotta come in. I have long range to punish your long range, Farina. A backstab attempt was made. That actually consumes quite a lot of stamina. I was like looking at the stamina meter that time. I feel like he's gonna run that way. Yep. Nice, let me get the roll catch. A well-placed freezing pot. Allows for some good pressure. <laughs> Fun fight though. Hello there, Velka. How are you? We have Velka with a flamberge and what looks like a dark hand. All right, roar. I want to see how people handle opening with that. Okay, that could have so. Oh, Dragon Breath. 
I think I can get a roar in. Maybe two. Okay, so we can punish the long range cast. That's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, we're both fist users. Oh, you dabble in the Royal Knight Resolve. <laughs> I, I can I can appreciate that. I haven't really used any of the claws yet either. These are close though. They're basically claws. <laughs> Moving into our next battle, we have Requiem. It looks like a wizard. It is indeed a wizard. He dodged that though. You know what? I actually like this arena. This is a good arena for fighting wizards. There are pillars. And pillars help. Now I'm on your magic circle. I actually won that trade severely. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good. A wall here to block. <laughs> nice. <laughs> These pillars are great for fighting casters. <laughs> Very fun fight though, Mr. Wizard. That was also a poise wizard. Moving on to the next opponent, we have Azure A Acadia. Azure Acadia. All right, Azure. What do you got? You have this. I was going to say, what can I get off that? Maybe a standing R2? Yeah, R2 is probably the best thing to use off of Storm Stomp. I was thinking it worked pretty well with the other fist weapons, so why not this one, right? Oh. Convenient. <laughs> Oh, okay. Had the poise needed. What about the R2? Let's see. Yeah, we can get an R2 off that. Okay. Very fun fight, though. And that worked out pretty well. Storm Stomp can be pretty good for R2s. Moving into the next battle, we have Morgoth Boggler. All right, Morgoth. I was a little late to doing that. I'm sorry for the delay here. We will see what kind of poise you have. What Oh, you have a frost fight. Okay. Kind of cool. I'm going to be honest. I like that. I'm goading through. <laughs> I haven't used the lightning ram in a duel. I don't even remember the last time I did that, actually. That worked pretty well right through the flaming strike. <laughs> Moving on to our next opponent. We have Very Alive. Well, by the end of this, one of us is not going to be. <laughs> I'm hoping it's you. We'll see, though. How good is the... Okay, the R2 doesn't have the best range to roll catch. Blessed weapon. Interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That is cool, though. I don't think I've seen that on a Colossal Sword. I have to try that out myself. That could be very useful. A nice buff, and you get some good long-range damage. All right, heading into our final battle, we have Naya the Silver hey! with two thrusting swords. Okay, this could be interesting. Just buff these with some lightning. Maybe get a little bit of frostbite on you. Maybe he'll get a little aggressive here. Yeah, that worked out really well. I figured endure would be useful, but. That was an amazing trade. Just because you can do the R2 as a roll catch after the trades of the light attack. That worked really well. Alright, now let's just see how these perform in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first invasion. We are in the subterranean shunning grounds Ooh, with the pursuer. Pursuer cosplay? It seems like it. Hello there, Elden Casual and Pursuer. Um, I don't know if Royal Knight Resolve is what I want here. I'm gonna dodge your wizardry. Oh, way to, way to get rid of my buff. Sadness. So you're gonna stand on that heal spot, I'm guessing? That's like your plan, and he's gonna storm stomp. I'm not hitting them for a lot. 
Let's weaken Elden Casual a little bit. Wait, did I get hit by the hammer there? I think I did. <laughs> Oof. Ah, that should have been it. Disappointment. That's it. There we go. <laughs> okay, I just had to roll catch that at the right time. I can endure your hammer shots. Oh, aim punch. The one time it's fun when it's on your side. Oh. <laughs> Very fun fight though. A little area here you guys have going on. With the warming stone and the casting. Interesting. Moving into the next invasion and I'm in Flame Peak. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a, quite an interesting spawn here, Elden Ring. Oh, I can come down with these, I think. I don't have the horse, but... It's okay. I have horse-like abilities. Nice! I didn't even think about that. I was gonna use the warp finger, but that worked out pretty well. You guys killed a giant! Hello there. I spawn out of the giant. I'm gonna make them surprised. Hello there. Videna. Pop your bubble. Hello? Oop. Oh my god. That is not good weight load. Your teammate's gonna have to carry this. That does not do very good damage either. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. Ooh, and we get the backstab, okay. R2. Oh, that's some good damage output. Hope he heals. But we can't give it to you for free, you gotta earn the heal. <laughs> Alright, Lyrium. I don't really know what was going on with that, if it was a cosplay or not. I didn't get it. <laughs> Heading into the final invasion and I'm in Castle Morn. Interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten an invasion here at this level. Ah, they were above. It did spawn me in a really- oh wait, are they below? Well, I'm here now. Hello there, guys. Dragon War Priest and Terra. Hello. Yes, Dragon War Priest. You guys can fight me at the same time. You don't have to be kind. Why would you avoid me? What? Teray, why? You could have. You could have teamed with him. Yes. Give me the. I wonder if I can just run around and backstab that. <laughs> Why do those do so little damage? What? Oh my god. This is weird. You do not hit very hard, Terra. Or Terre. <laughs> Maybe it's because your build's kind of like spread out. You have Blasphemous Blade, but also incantations. <laughs> not the most HP either. Okay. All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the guitar. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep recommending other weapons, builds, and Ashes of War you'd like to see in the series. I've been enjoying using all the weapons that I haven't until now. But yeah, until the next video, I will see you guys all next time. Get some rest. Goodbye. Hey! Goodbye.